What's up guys, today we're going to go over how to make a hidden 4x4 door. So as the name implies, this door is able to be hidden on like the side of a mountain or just like the side of a wall like I have like this. Um, so if we pull our super secret lever, we see that the door will pull a completely out of the wall. And then we have a lever on the inside that allows us to close our door while we're inside our base. Um, the sizing requirements for this isn't too bad. Uh, most of the stuff on this side is just the levers, so you can actually move the levers around. Um, however you need for your base. Uh, so you should be able to use it wherever you'd want, and I think it's overall a simple design for what it does. So with that, let's jump right in. So first, just a quick materials rundown. You're gonna need 14 sticky pistons, eight slime blocks, eight honey blocks, 32 obsidian. Um, I think the minimum is like 28, but I may have miscounted, so just 32. Uh, two blocks of redstone, two observers, two comparators, Around 20 repeaters. I, th I only counted 11, but you can never have enough repeaters. Um, so yeah, just make 20 and you'll you'll like yourself later. Then an ample amount of some opaque block. It doesn't have to be gold, but I just use gold. It can be like wood planks or something like that. Um, some glass, a bunch of redstone dust, and an ample amount of torches. All right, so first you want to kind of map out where you want your door to be. So I built this little like wood plank and gold thing, and I want the gold to be where um the door is i'll make this side right here this side the front side so that we can have the sun while we're building the rest of it um so these gold blocks will be the actual door and then this will be the front so now we need to set up all of the stuff so what we want to do is break two blocks behind the door like this so like this eight block pattern right here and then on the this side we do two more on either end so we have this and we place obsidian here and this is so that our slime and honey blocks do not stick to the ground because um, that's pretty important, otherwise they will not move at all. And then what we do is we want to essentially go out five blocks from the door itself and on this row. So essentially you'll have your slime and honey blocks here and they'll get pushed out to here. Then we go five blocks out this way. And this is just so that you can place your pistons. And we place two pistons facing into the door essentially. And then we have it on the second block up. And then we also do it on the third block up. So we have this situation so that they're in the middle too. And there should be two blocks in between your piston and your door. We do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. And we have that contraption right there. Now what we want to do is we place pistons um, three blocks away from the door, which actually, yeah, no, two blocks away from the door. There are three blocks away from the door to in between like this. And we do it on the middle two on the bottom and we do it the same thing on the top. So you'll kind of need to like build up a little bit. And these pistons are the pistons that push and pull the door in or out of the wall. And then these pistons are the ones that actually open it. Now what we can do is we can place the slime and honey blocks. So you need to do kind of two by two patterns like this. So it doesn't matter which ones are which as long as they're not touching. So we kind of like do a little diagonal pattern like this. And this is just so that the pistons don't try to push too many blocks all at once. This ensures that it's only pushing eight and then these are pushing nine. Um, so that it doesn't max out, which is 12. So this should be enough setup for us to start doing some actual redstone. So let's do that now. All right, so we can start off by doing the double piston extenders, which are done as follows. So we have two blocks, um, two opaque blocks that go out off the bottom piston. We have obsidian on this block, and then we have the same block on this one. And this is just because the sticky blocks, either the slime or honey blocks, will come here, and you don't want to pull it and then break your stuff. Then here we have an, kind of an L shape with the rest of the dust, um, like that, so the obsidian has the rest of the dust on it. Then we put a repeater of here of delay four, which is the maximum. And then we do a repeater here of delay two, which is just one right click. We go do the same thing on the other side, just mirrored, like this. And then we go like that. Delay four, delay two. Now on this side, what we want to do is add eight blocks of obsidian on the top like this, because we need to do redstone on top of this, um, but we can't have the sticky blocks doing stuff. And then we put our remaining two sticky pistons right here, so that they're two blocks away from, from our sticky blocks, uh, our sticky pistons right here. Essentially, they're right above your sticky blocks right here on top of this obsidian that we just placed. And then what we do is we place redstone blocks right in front of them. And then we need to place observers facing up into where these blocks will end up getting pushed to. So just temporarily let's put those there to face the observers upwards. Um, before we do this, break these two blocks and break these two blocks because these pistons are gonna start like doing stuff and we don't have to break stuff. 
So we do that. And then, yeah, so we should have this kind of looking thing. And this right here is just to make it where we can actually get quasi connectivity on our side because we're in Java edition. Um, this would be a lot easier to do in Bedrock Edition. It's just this then is more complicated in Bedrock Edition. So give or take, I guess. Um, so we have this. We put opaque blocks on top of those pistons and we put block here and a block here. Um, and we can just put redstone on top of that. Now down here, we want to put opaque blocks under these pistons, which I already have them here for some reason. And then we go under more and we put torches that face upwards into that block that is below our pistons. We want to then go around, and this is just to conserve space. We put repeaters facing into these blocks that the torches are on. Um, we can go in like one block or two blocks or whatever. Let's go in one block and put a redstone torch here, and then we just hook this up. Um, and this is just to invert the inversion here so that we're back to where we started. All right, so next we can hook up our lever, and this is probably the most convoluted part, so I'll try to go a little bit slower on this. So first what we want to do is have our lever six blocks away from our door on the wall that the door is in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Um, so five blocks in between. And then we go four blocks away from this, and this is like our front wall. So one, two, three, four, and then we place one more, so five blocks away. Um, and this is our back wall. Like this is like the wall from the inside of our base, and I'll just kind of mark this off. Yeah, sure. Okay, and then here we place another lever. So like it's it's in line with this one and it's just on the other side. I'm also putting it on the bottom, on the bottom block right here because it's just easier because then we can do the stuff under this thing and conserve a little bit of space there. So now what we want to do is place redstone here. We place redstone here. Um, we do redstone all around this. So like we have just kind of like this weird looking thing. We have two comparators facing into the door and we put them in subtract mode by right clicking them. Um, so the torch on top should be on. And then we put redstone dust like that. And this is just an XOR gate. And this is what allows us to have our levers independently open and close the door. So like we could like open our door by pressing that and then close our door with this one and then go and then open our door again, so on and so forth. Um, this XOR gate allows us to do that. Um, I'm actually gonna get, gonna get rid of this part because we don't need it and it makes it harder. Okay. So now what we do is we go under this and we place a repeater one block. So like, first of all, on the right side here, we go down one block and we grab the signal from this um, by going down one block, putting a repeater facing this way. And then we break this block here and we put dust here. And this is so that essentially we can grab the signal without it being in the way of this piston, essentially, because um, this piston ends up here um, because it gets pulled in two blocks. Uh, so yeah, we don't want it to end up here. So it ends up here, everything should be fine. Now this needs to go underground so that we can get it onto the other side of this. So I'll actually go underground right, like really quickly. Um, let's go underground like that. Okay, we grab it. Um, we go up basically as fast as we can without cutting it off. Um, so yeah, we want it to be on this block. So three blocks away from the front wall, um, as well as a block in between this and this. Then what we do is we want to put glass here. Um, and the reason I'm like making this kind of distinction is that it's really convenient to have the glass go specifically like this, because then this one is on that side with that, and then the other one's on this side with that. Um, so make sure it looks like this. Now we bring this out. We put dust here. We put two repeaters, because this needs to be a delay of five off of the lever. So we do a delay of two and a delay of three. So we should have like, so it should be one right click and then two right clicks. This is because down here, we essentially have to have two redstone torches and then a delay of three. So this is like our two redstone torches and then this is um, a delay of three for the other side, just so that it matches. But yeah, so just two repeaters, uh, total delay of five. So one right click and then two right clicks. Now we bring this up even further. Like this. We bring this out again and then we just bring this all the way over. Then what we want to do is place a repeater like as fast as we can and just do delay one. And then we bring this over to the thing that we made earlier. Um, okay, so now we need to hook it up to the bottom and this is a little bit more convoluted as well because we have to go underground a bunch of times. So we need to hook it up to this torch, the top of this torch and actually I already, uh, all right. Yeah, so we should have this right now still. So then what we do is we, again, bring this out we go and find where we can hook it up. So essentially, let's make it hook up right here. 
Um, so we just kind of put that out. We can see that this is already like, this is where we just dug out. Um, so we put dust here and then fix that. And then we go and we connect the rest of it to the top of that redstone torch like that. So we can see that it's like connected still. It's a little dark, but yeah, there's redstone right there and there's redstone here. And then on this side, what we do is we go under and we're going to go up to hook it up to the other double piston extender. Um, let's see, let me count how many blocks we want. Do, do, do. Okay, so go in two blocks and then start going up. Um, sorry, it, it'll be three blocks from the repeaters. Yeah, let's just plug that up. Yeah, three blocks from the repeaters and then start going up like this. And then we can kind of make that a little bit cleaner. All right, so we have this. Then we want to go up another block so that we're like away from, like we're one block away from the double piston extender. And then we go up one more time. Um, and it, it's gonna be really weak, but it will still reach. And then we put a torch on this block right here. And then we have a block over here to grab the signal from the torch. And then we go here and we do a repeater of delay three. Right. Um, and that's just to make sure the delays are correct. Uh, and that should be everything we'd need to do. Uh, make sure you put, yeah, make sure you put these blocks back if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, so if we flip one of the levers, it should like, nothing should happen because it's already like in that position. But then when we pull the lever again, it should come out. Please work. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, and then double do it again, just to make sure it comes out. Oh, okay, awesome, okay. So if you've done everything correctly, that should be all you need to do in order to get the door in working order. Um, now all that's left is doing all of your aesthetic stuff and that is just completely up to you and what your base looks like. Um, your front wall is right here and then your back wall is four blocks away or um, five blocks away from it right here. Uh, and then if you do any blocks in the middle, which I do recommend doing, um, I would recommend first of all doing it when it's closed and then making sure that you put obsidian where it needs to be. So obsidian needs to go here Obsidian needs to go here, um, and then this actually can be any block, so let's do like gold or something. Let's do a wood. Um, I like doing corners, so if you like to do corners too, you put obsidian there and there. Um, it actually doesn't need to be here, but anyways. And then this can be any block, this can be any block, and the floor can be any block except for this right here. Um, this does need to be obsidian, but this can be wood, this can all be wood and then like our wall goes here and then it should still work just fine so yeah just double check that um the blocks that need to be obsidian are obsidian uh but other than that it's completely up to you all right guys that'll be it for this episode i hope everything worked well on the first try um if not you can leave a comment and just leave me a little bit of information of what's happening and i can try to help you debug that um as always i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time